After having a quarterback and a premier pass rusher, having a blindside tackle that can protect your quarterback is how you build a team in the NFL. Evan Neal, the left tackle out of Alabama, is one of the best offensive linemen in the entire draft. Not only did he dominate as a left tackle in his final year in college, but he also has experience playing in multiple roles. Last season, he played as the right tackle, and the year before that, he played at left guard. His versatility combined with his athleticism to mirror pass rushers makes him a very intriguing prospect. His ability to mirror is one of his best traits by far. Before we look at this further, please do me a huge favor and like and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. So anyways, as I said a moment ago, his footwork to mirror is one of his best traits. He was left on an island to protect his quarterback for a large percent of his snaps. He has very light feet and an excellent change of direction to stop pass rushers in their tracks. Also, how he uses his hands and how they connect to his feet as a pass blocker is all really impressive. He can snatch a pass rusher, and then when they try to counter, Neil was always ready to slow them down. Additionally, his balance through his kick steps to gain depth is all really smooth. He can quick set with powerful hands, and he can redirect a pass rusher with ease. On top of this, his patience is excellent too. He'll wait until the last moment to fire his hands at the defender, and that will limit their ability to time their attack. I think the one thing he might need to keep working on is his anchor. His anchor is only about average. For a man of his size and his athleticism, I honestly expected a bit more. He might have a problem with power rushers at the next level. He absorbs contact and get blown backwards a bit into the pocket. This isn't to say he's bad, it's just something that he's not great at where the rest of his technique is all really solid. His advanced stats also agree with this assessment. If you look at the pressures he allowed, Neil is clearly better than most of his peers. He finished with a 2.4% allowed pressure rate. This is truly remarkable considering the edge rushers he faced on a weekly basis in the SEC. As a run blocker, Neil is also really talented. He can get low and explode out of his stance, his athleticism allows him to get to the next level, and he'll be a force against linebackers. He also takes really good angles, which will make him a great fit in any blocking scheme. He does an excellent job of maintaining low pad height through his approach, and when he wants to drive a defender backwards, he can definitely do that. Now, from an improvement standpoint, the one thing he needs to work on is the center of gravity. What I mean by that is his weight is too far in front of him and he tends to have too much of a forward lean. This causes him to get off balance. I think he's leaning in order to explode out of his stance to generate extra power, but this is something he'll need to fix. When he faces a competent defensive end, they'll make him pay for this mistake. Any sort of bull jerk or hand swipe to disengage, it caused Neil to fall to the ground. The other thing I saw was that his effort to sustain run blocks was very hit or miss. Sometimes he'd finish a block to the ground, but other times he'll make his initial block and then he'll completely disengage. While watching him, you just don't really see any anger. He's not the intimidating type of blocker that coaches love. Neil will be technically sound for sure, and that's obviously the most important thing, but he won't ever be the mauler on the field. While this is far from a deal breaker, it did need to be noted. To wrap this up, I gave Neil an early first round grade. Having a premier left tackle that can hold up on his own is one of the most important things in the NFL. Even in his worst game this season in pass protection, which happened against Georgia's vaulted defense in the national championship, the only pressures Neil allowed were in the final minute of the game. He did an amazing job of playing on the island by himself. The way I see it is that Neil has a solid floor to work with. He'll slide in as a starting left or right tackle in the NFL, and he's good enough to warrant a top five pick in the NFL draft. Well, that's all I have for you in this video. Next up, we'll keep looking at offensive line prospects. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and keep a lookout for those. Thanks again. You can support me directly via my Patreon in the link below. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at Samuel or Gold.